Hello students, today we are dealing with the chapter study of animal tissues, a very interesting chapter for you to know. In this chapter, right now we are taking module number one where we'll be doing the introduction to the chapter, basics of the chapter. Now watch this. What is this picture showing? It's a cell, a single cell, which is actually a neuron of your body. Now groups of such cells, what do you call it when the cells join together, they group together? We call it a tissue. Similarly, groups of these tissues together form an organ and various organs together form organ system. Here what you're seeing is the nervous system, an organ system, many such systems in your body, be it nervous system, excretory system, respiratory system and others together make up what we call as an organism. Here we will be dealing with tissue in this chapter. Now what we have for you here is, this is a cell. See, a single human cell. Now another cell, one more and there are more of these. All of these together, we call them group of cells together. As we just talked, group of cells together. But what kind of group of cells are we talking about? Any group? No, specifically we are talking about the group of cells having similar shape, structure, function and also origin, that kind of a group. But along with that, the intercellular substance which is present, that we call as a tissue. So group of cells having similar shape, structure, function, origin, also the intercellular substance. Together we call it a tissue. That's how we define tissue. Now students, what is a tissue? It's a group of cells having similar shape, similar structure, function and origin. And when we are studying tissue, we are studying histology. Any organ, if we are studying the tissue of that organ, we say we are doing the histology of the organ. Now, among these four important terms, we know what is the shape of a cell. We know what we mean when we talk about the structure. We know when we're talking about the function, we are talking about what the cell is exactly doing. But what is the origin we are talking about? What is the origin of tissue we talk about? Let's see what is the origin. When we talk about origin, we talk about you when you were an early embryo. In your mother's womb, you looked like this. This means you had cells and these cells were present in the form of germ layers. They formed germ layers also known as embryonic layers. Where do you see layers in this picture? The layers, the outermost layer which is known as ectoderm. The middle layer known as mesoderm and right inside there, the layer is known as endoderm. These three layers of cells in early embryonic stage, these are the three layers which gave rise to different tissues because you were just these three layers and nothing else. So whatever tissues came, were formed, they were formed out of these three layers. So when we talk about origin, we say origin from which of these three germ layers. Now students, in this module, we just briefly talked about the introduction. Next module, we'll be doing the different types of tissue. Till then, take care.